So good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Professor Mohan Rao. We have uh, Dr. Milind Agarwal as well as Dr. Radha Krishnan Pillai, and from a distance we have Dr. Raju Lastana uh, amongst us, and also the audience. Uh, Madam, uh, thank you, thank you for inviting, and despite some uh, schedule crash, etc., I'm able to make it here. Dr. Manali, and thankful to you. Well, uh, the subject was very beautifully introduced by Dr. Mohan Rao. So, what I would do is few examples of what we did in order to achieve what he was saying is required to be done. And the concrete example would be given by Dr. Raju Lastana when he presents the PPT about what all, when I was AICT chairman, along with Dr. Raju Lastana and Dr. Arora, we started this course on universal human values. When you said values, our national education policy 2020 very categorically states that all our citizens need to get good quality education, thereby they are all empowered. Each one is born with certain inherent qualities. How do we explore? How do we enhance them in order to make them useful to themselves, their families, to the society and the nation at large and the entire planet? And that was the significant thing which was stated. But however, at, at various places, it also talks about the education being imparted which should be rooted in Indian values. When we say rooted in Indian values, what are those rooted in Indian values? We say the Atithi Devo Bhava, probably nowhere in the world actually such a statement exists. We talk about Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. Today, even United Nations talks about the world as one family, but this concept existed from the Vedic times that we always said that the world is one family. We also say Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu, the whole world, everyone should be happy. We never say that I want to be happy. That is the last thing. We will always be automatically be happy if the world is happy. So I think these are essential concepts which are roots of Indian civilization and how they can be also brought out. And therefore, whether it is starting from the education, which is going to be changed from the present 10 plus 2, 12th exam or something was coming up when I came here and that has been one of those problems for all our children when they come into the 10th standard or 12th standard. I see many parents taking leave for two months, three months. Why are you sitting on the heads of those students? They will let them study on their own, whatever they like it. But we will say, no, 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 competitive exam hai, JE hai, wo hai. So I think we all put pressure on our students in our, in, at that age group of 16 to 18. Whereas, the basic foundations should be created right from childhood. And that's why from the present 10 plus 2 system, the new system is talking about 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. First five years foundational learning starting at the age of 3 itself instead of the age of 6. Today what we call as nursery, uh, lower KG, upper KG, Balwad, what, whatever different names may be there, but all of them getting merged and starting the schooling system at the age of uh, 3. And the first three to four years must be absolutely in terms of playing games with toys, with a lot of stories. Thereby, those values are inculcated in our students, you know, young age. And that is the young age. And we have found, even at the age of about 10, 15 also, whenever sometimes parents say at home that, no, you do this, that, they will say, no, our teacher ne aisa ka hai, hum aisa hi karenge. So, the children at the age of those 8, 10, 12, 15, they value teachers tremendously, more than their parents. Although they are born, they are, you know, taken care of by the parents, they believe trust is there in the teachers. But unfortunately, as they grow older, after 18 and when they come to the college, they don't treat teachers in the same way. Partly, teachers are responsible. The way they they deal with our students. Whereas in the school age, probably teachers completely get engrossed, they talk to them very friendly and they love the teachers. But whereas uh, when we come to higher education, college, university, a class of 60, 100 is there, we give lecture one, one way traffic, one hour and then leave the class. There is hardly any interaction 
hardly any teacher knows the names of all the 100 odd students whereas in the school teacher knows every student's name i think that's a big difference and therefore when we talk about value system in the early age in the foundational learning we certainly want them that the students should learn the alphabets multiple languages they should also learn arithmetic mathematics all of that is fine but how this all can be taught in terms of two things one is through games videos animations on one side and how in each of these subjects when they are learning how values can be incorporated it it means for example if you have uh, say 10 mangoes and there are 5 uh, people or 6 people whatever you have to say that each one is to be given this mango so what will you do so when they start thinking about it otherwise someone will say all 10 i would like to eat so the concept of giving is also to be embedded through a small story and if it is not a even number that everyone gets what will happen to the remaining four if six people are there each one will get one each fine but the remaining four who should get that this is a ethical question and that is how students will be prompted to learn some of these things so basically whether you teach science you teach mathematics you teach history i think our children need to know about that and how our rich heritage in terms of culture in terms of our uh, what we call music dance drama no civilization had evolved as many things as what indian civilization had evolved and unless our children know about it they cannot become confident they cannot contribute and that's why when we talk about value system all of these are important uh, unfortunately we lost 75 years after our independence and never changed the education system which was given by macaulay to create clerks in our country so aict in the wisdom which uh, dr rajul astana will give in more details about what all we started doing we had lot of deliberations and said we have to start somewhere so we always say that uh, the value should be embedded right at family level from the mother father brother sister and then in the primary school then high school college then children will be very very uh, robust in terms of holistic development of their personality and they will contribute to the society as well but they are not doing but at least let us start doing it and that's how this mandatory 3 weeks student induction program was evolved and for training of teachers to handle this we had a one week and two week of uh, faculty development program in universal human values when we say universal human values these are universal so they are having no boundary in terms of uh, geography these values are same whether you go to europe or us or to australia or to india or asia anywhere this is number one and they are human in nature how do we create that human personality we talked about happiness professor mohan you always said uh, we all are aspiring to be happy and there are happiness indices being developed and uh, bhutan was declared as one of the happiest nations of the world it's not a very prosperous gdp wise not very high but people are happy why because they believe in certain values and they follow them and in order to make all of that happen we need to make all our students understand that my happiness is connected with the happiness of the surroundings when i talk about surroundings it is in my family my father mother and uh, brother sister siblings also need to be happy then i can be happy otherwise we will fight <laughs> then uh, if we have problems at family level also today but how do we overcome them then when you come out in the society there are different stripes actually we see unfortunately today what is happening in manipur pains all of us actually so something which should not happen in the society in the nation whether it is in terms of caste creed religion and in terms of language is spoken in terms of cultures they follow so how do we make it happen so if you want to follow what you want to follow and be happy unless you make the other person also to feel the same way you provide the same respect to the other gentleman or a lady you will not receive the same thing in return and this is what we have to make it uh, realize for our people in terms of self introspection so nothing is forced upon any student that you must do this you talked about values you understand right and wrong good and bad and then follow the good and right things but how do you know what is the right thing and what is the good thing so you don't say this is good and that is right you ask a query to a set of students 
in a such a situation what would you do everyone will say the same answer nearly we have tested it in schools to colleges to universities you are crossing the road and you see a, a person who has no eyesight is trying to walk across the road and naturally he may get into an accident and therefore what will you do immediately you will say that i will carry him through the and cross the road who will say he will not do it i don't think any lady or any gentleman will say that i will not do that but you ask them did you really do it when such a situation arose they will say nahi sir to mera urgent exam tha main bhag gaya idhar gaya udhar gaya bol denge so therefore self introspection and understanding it is very very important that's why this particular course which we said three week course should be taught by only those who go through this course who start following that and unless the teachers follow that the students will not listen to you and that is what we observe in our institutions colleges universities you may say 100 lectures you know but the teacher if he is following that then only students will follow that particular teacher not otherwise mm-hmm. and that's why these values have to be first inculcated in our teachers and then they can give sermons and we have the famous saying is all from maharashtra we all know the story of ramdas swami the mother came and said that my child eats lot of joggery please tell him not to eat he said come tomorrow come tomorrow come tomorrow it went on for about a month or so two months subsequently one day ramdas swami ji said don't eat joggery then mother said this you could have said on the first day what was the problem that i was eating joggery so unless i leave it how can i tell this to the child actually so i don't have that confidence and i don't have that moral value to t- say so and that is what our teachers have a big role to play right from school education to high school to university i'm sure the program which has been designed and you have a center for values here i am sure uh, you not only create good citizens in your college for your students but also in the neighborhood you must support other colleges in the neighborhood and have the uh, collaboration in order to create this value system in our country in that case we will be the true vishwa guru in the coming uh, couple of decades thank you very much namaste no 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 uh, fdp program is for everyone we started with uh, technical institutions because we had control we should say that you should attend and all that but subsequently many university in fact uh, i know bombay university vice chancellor took very active interest and in many college teachers from arts commerce science also participated same is the case with uh, sppo no 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 so we, we are continuing that and uh, dr rajul asthana when he gives his powerpoint presentation will tell you about it is open to everyone every week we can keep conducting we are in the early stage we were only having physical workshops like, like that one week two week but due to pandemic suddenly everything got closed we started online we thought such a thing cannot be done in online in the beginning but we found that it is as effective as uh, the the physical mode of uh, training of teachers because once you get connected with the student actually who the students are teachers here so once the per- person who is delivering he gets connected to the student then whether it is online or in a physical mode doesn't matter the, then you start taking interest in that in the same way as our tv serials when uh, in the evening once we get a- attached to that next day what is happening we are interested same way next class mein aur kya hone wala hai so this is how people get interested and many of them i should tell you here he may also watch for that many teachers after one week on the last day when they were asked to speak about their experience they said we have been teachers for 10 years 15 years 12 years we never understood the role of a teacher through this we have understood here after i am going to follow that i think that is the transformation that is the change which is visible actually i think that's possible and it's for everyone in fact uh, we encourage some of our teachers to ask their spouses also to join maybe initially thoda scuffle hota hai isme jo jo aata hai na usme ek dusre ko sambhalna samajhna wagera hota hai to ghar mein jhagde to har ghar mein hote hai to lekin jab samajh aa jati hai to dono they become having good relation of uh, uh, mother in law and her, and uh, sister in law they all stay together on that particular platform and they start enjoying actually i think that is the spirit actually 
So we're talking about values since morning. So I've been having this question because from my own personal experience, I've been seeing that values were never taught to me. I've always observed. Today, if I'm standing here, it's thanks to the visionary, my grandfather, you know, who created a lot of stuff. And I learned a lot by observation. My father was a great example. I learned a lot from him. And I learned from other people's mistakes. The mistakes that other people did, I saw that. So Mahatma Gandhi was somebody who spoke so much about Ahimsa. You know, he, but today, who is following Mahatma Gandhi? You know, so you can't teach value. So my question is, you know, when we speak about value education, I believe in a Sangha where people who follow certain values, we come together. So there is a Sangha. So then you automatically start following. So whether it's Chimmaya Mission or the Ramakrishna Mission or a Buddhist monastery or any other uh, mission that is there. So the biggest challenge I'm seeing today is how do you teach values? You know, you can talk about uh, Ashoka the Great, you can talk about Ramanuja, you can talk about Tiruvalluvar or, you know, any saint. But how do you teach? You know, the student has to be ready. So how do you make the student ready? And if there is just one person in my life, I see I have one guru and I was so lucky. And today if I'm standing here, it's because of some past punya that I've done that I received all those things. It's grace. So how do you make a student ready so that the right teacher appears? So that's my question, sir. Yeah, absolutely correct. You know, many people think that values cannot be taught. They are only caught. They are only observed. Only then they will come. Both are correct to some extent. But most important thing is rationally when you put forward a universal thing which is true anywhere, everywhere. And when you start self-introspection, you start believing in it. Till then, you will not agree to some theoretical lecture by a teacher. But when you are asked some 10 questions and each time when you answer, you, your heart will start rendering you that, no, 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 I shouldn't do this, I should do it. Don't force upon any young student because they are the ones who are rebellions. Actually, at the age group of some, say, 15, 16 to 18, 19, 20 is the most rebellion age group. But they question everything. But when they get answers for their question, by not forcing upon them the, uh, the answers, but to ask them to self-introspect. Once that happens, they will all start following this particular system. This is the most important thing. So the question is, now we have for the young kids, you know, a lot of nursery, Montessori, etc., etc. In most of those schools, what they teach is rain, rain, go away. Uh, Baba Black Sheep, you know, all these kind of songs, I don't know whether they are really inculcating the culture that we have been talking about in India, you know, Hindu culture. For example, now, uh, you might be knowing about Tiruvalluvar, Tirukkural, etc. After praising of God, he praises the rain. You know, the rain, treating as God, that means the rain water has to come. First. Second thing is lot of lot of we have you know in my school days we had lots of moral values and then we used to have so many so many quotes from Avayar from you know, various various people so men, men, I mean many of you may not be knowing about those people but then how do we inculcate I'm sure you might be inculcating all these things in the new education policy I just would like to know whether such kind of things are going to be there or not thank you. I think absolutely right. In fact, this was what was missing. And uh, after the National Education Policy 2020 came in, none other than the architect of this policy, Dr. Kasturi Rangan, who was the former chairman of ISRO, he observed that he would like to be associated with the framework to be created for curriculum right from foundational age. Otherwise, he is a scientist of high order. He would have said, I will take care of uh, physics or I will take care of technology. But he said, the foundation is important and therefore what is called FLN, foundational learning. About that, there is a committee which has created a curriculum structure framework where all of these issues which you said are already embedded. Very interestingly, uh, experiential learning is given great uh, premise on that. And that is why when I talked about... Uh, the stories and games and uh, the practical exposure, how students can be taken out in the garden and shown different plants and what is their utilization, even uh, butterflies, all of that 
connecting with nature you know uh, we talk about sustainable development goals and if the child starts practicing even agriculture horticulture at the age of such a young age he will get connected with that and that is one part secondly there is a interesting box created by the school education segment which is called jadoi pitara you may google and find out the content of that jadoi pitara there are huge number of simple experiments very low cost and all schools can afford to buy that and children will just simply jump on them to learn many things and each one of them are designed in a manner that indirectly our culture our uh, the whole concept of values is embedded through those kind of games and stories i think uh, that is being undertaken